Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. It's time once again for another unboxing. This is a mini, mini PC called the Leva Q2 from the Elite Group. We saw this at CES on display. I don't think it's yet available, uh, but it will be soon. And I think it's going to sell for about 200 bucks. They call this a pocket size PC. And I would agree with that assessment. It's running Windows 10. It's got an N4000 Gemini Lake processor on board, and I believe it's got 32 gigs of eMMC storage and four gigs of RAM. Would have liked to have seen a little bit more storage in it, but it is very tiny. Uh, so you got a USB 3 and a USB 2 port there, a power button. Pretty nice casing, actually. It looks like, it feels like metal. Maybe it's plastic on the bottom and metal on the top. Maybe I'll try to take it apart in a minute and see what's inside. Uh, we've got an SD card slot there. It looks like gigabit Ethernet and HDMI out there. It's got a pretty nice little uh, heat sink here. They make a lot of fanless devices, and this looks like it might be fanless as well. Uh, so we'll pop it open and see what's in there. And then you've got yourself a Kensington lock. So that is the computer itself. I'm willing to bet that the power cable is probably the same size or bigger. And yep, it is pretty much the same size as the computer. You can't get away from that, apparently. Uh, then you've got some uh, documentation here. It's like a little overview of the computer here and what it does. I don't think this is upgradable, but it would be cool if it was. And that's what you got there. I think this might be the same thing. I think this is like a pre-release version, so they probably just accidentally put two startup guides in here. And then we have a visa mount for mounting it on the back of a monitor. So you would attach it to here and then just attach that plate to the monitor there. So maybe I'll try taking this apart real quick and see what is inside. So hang on, let's open it up. So it wasn't hard to get into this thing. In fact, these screws stay in place after you loosen them up, very similar to how the nuts work. And when you pull away the bottom portion of the case, uh, you see here what looks like a daughter board for I.O. because you can actually remove this part of the board, uh, which contains the HDMI, the Ethernet, and everything else. So I wonder if they have some kind of modular uh, system here where maybe there'll be other versions with different daughter boards attached to it. I did take a look. There is nothing upgradable on this that I could see. There is a shield here which covers up a couple of chips, but those chips are uh, soldered on. So it looks like the four gigs of RAM and the 32 gigs of storage is all you're going to get. So you'll probably have to supplement through using uh, that SD card there. But otherwise, it's a pretty cool looking Windows PC. I can't wait to boot this up and start playing with it and see how it works. It is indeed fanless. It's a uh, heat sink here that should hopefully get rid of some of the heat from the processor. So we'll check out the thermals on this as well in the full review that you'll find on my main channel at lon.tv. So stay tuned, more to come on this, but it looks pretty cool and I'm looking forward to playing with it. Stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including gold level supporters, Chris Allegretta, the four guys with quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Anuj Zaveri and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.